Hi everybody and welcome to Only Cool Stuff. My name is Zaheer, this is Rebecca, <laughs> and this channel is all about our high street toy and pop culture store as well as our reselling exploits on eBay. Today is Saturday and unfortunately even though the sun has now come out and it's really beautiful now, this morning um, at about 6, 5.36 in the morning the weather was atrocious, it was grey sky, it, it was a lot of rain um, and consequently that meant the car boot was all but not on. I'm surprised that they actually did decide to open, I think they were hoping the forecast would be wrong as sometimes happens, um, but only the most kind of hardcore sellers and I'm guessing the most hardcore buyers turned up. Um, we actually turned up and sat in the car for a while and drank coffee. Um, we just sat and waited because we could see that the, it was just raining and the storeholders weren't putting out any of their stuff really. Um, but we also knew that within a little bit of time the weather would improve and although we couldn't take full advantage because I'm sure more stalls would have turned up now that the weather's improved and more things would have come out we stuck around long enough as much as we could because obviously we have to open the shop as well uh, we stuck around long enough considering that um, and we managed to pick up a few decent pickups. We'll start off with these Furbies. I paid £3 each for these. I wouldn't normally buy these, but I did also have half a mind on having them um, sold in the shop as well. So for £3 each, I'm quite happy. They're probably worth between £10 and £15 each, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, below it, you can see a Robotech craft cutting machine by Graft, uh, a Graftech cutting machine by Robotech. This thing um, doesn't have its power supply but does come with a bunch of other accessories um, and bits and the machine looks in good condition. Assuming it works, I do have some universal power supplies. This could fetch me 80 and I paid 10 for that so that's a pretty good flip. Um, next up, I also from the same stores I got this craft machine thing, I also got these really grubby bits of stereo. I'm not expecting them to work but I only paid £2 for the pair. Uh, you've got a Cambridge Audio um, CD DVD player. Um, now the reason why this is interesting and why these kinds of items should um, interest you, especially if you're into your hi-fi, is if you zoom in, if I zoom in there, you can see the logos, uh, the formats that this thing can play. If it just played DVD, I wouldn't bother, but you can see there that symbol there is Super Audio CD, um, that one right next to the DVD, that's a symbol for super audio cd and that is actually or, or known also as sacd so cd sacd if you have a super audio cd player they can still hold value the actual format itself the discs have value and the players have some value i don't know if this amp's going to work even if it doesn't i'm not too fast like i said i paid two quid for the pair the final pickup from today's car boot was this camera again it was a 10 pound spend the camera itself is almost worthless and i would not buy the camera um, but it did have on it a good condition ef 35 to 80 millimeter lens the ef lens should fetch me about 30 to 35 pounds so from 10 pounds um, to 30 to 35 it should be good um, and you know that's a decent little flip and it should sell pretty quickly um, always worth looking out for decent lenses whether they are Canon, Nikon, Sigma, whoever it is. Now although I didn't pick up a huge amount there for considering the weather that's pretty good and also during the week I'm always picking stuff up I've got some really good contacts that look out look after me um, and I pick up some really decent stuff during the week as well and I'll show you some of those items as well. So like I said, during the week I have contacts that do look out for me um, and I was able to pick up this uh, oscilloscope. I'm not sure if it's working or not but I only paid like a fiver for it, the equivalent of a fiver and um, this should even faulty get me between 30 to 40 pounds so that's pretty good. Here we've got a Denon UDM30 stereo with the remote. If it's working should be about 50. And then in here we've actually got a Singer sewing machine, model 1507, which should also be worth around 50 if in good condition. The rest of the day is now going to be spent listing, because obviously this stuff needs to get processed and listed as soon as possible. Um, it is Saturday, so we may have some interruptions um, from the shop, because it, it's also a scarecrow festival happening, whatever that is. Um, some places have got little scarecrows outside, I don't know how that's going to affect business. But it is Saturday, so we may get the odd customers coming in um, well we probably will or hopefully anyway but um, 
to be honest with you, the way Beck and I are thinking right now, the shop really is, we're, we're looking at it as like just a, an added bonus. Uh, we're almost not paying too much attention to it at all because honestly, our real income in terms of steady income is still eBay, um, the website, I'd say toy fairs, car boots, and then the shop does what it does. Yes, it performs when it's like half term, when it's end of term. I'm sure it's going to start performing now the summer holidays are kicking in, but we're just seeing it really as a bonus because we've seen over the year we just simply can't rely on one particular source of income at a time, whether that be the shop or eBay or anything. But we really do need to focus on the online side of things a lot more than the physical um, like side of things. So I've been getting on with testing these Furbies whilst Rebecca's been listing Lego. And Rebecca's just seen me test these Furbies and she is now commandeered. <laughs> this... <laughs> That's just gross. <laughs> Why is it sucking your finger for? <laughs> Time for a bit of an update guys. It's now past four o'clock and I severely underestimated the effect that the Garstang Scarecrow Festival would have on us as a business. Um, thankfully, it's been a very positive effect. Um, it's been a constant stream of customers all day, which is brilliant. It's only just now started to simmer down and um, that allowed me to nip out and grab a couple of bits um, of sourcing as well to just to keep the system going. Um, it's been a very, very busy day, especially because Beck and I are both trying to list at the same time. Um, we're getting um, interruptions almost constantly, um, like every couple of minutes. I know that doesn't sound constant, but when we try to do something, it is. And, and also people like to come in groups. They kind of attract others. So when people come, other people tend to show up. It's just how life seems to work. And it's been a bit of a challenge. Beck here is looking very, very serious right now because she's kind of mad that she hasn't gotten more listing done. Um, and that is the mad face. So if you want to just tell when she's not pleased. <laughs> okay guys, it's now nearly six o'clock in the evening. Beck is just making some spaghetti bolognese. Um, I've got to make a decision whether to sell at the car boot tomorrow or not. The reason why it's even a question is because I know I could sell the stuff that I'm trying to sell on eBay for more money. However, there is always the benefit of cash flow. Cash flow is really important. And I think by doing a car boot, I could probably still do pretty well. Um, and I don't know, it's one of those things. I think I need to make sure that I make the right decision. I kind of feel like I should do it just because of cash flow. I think it's good to just bring money in. We've had a really good day today. Let's keep the momentum going. Um, but then the other part of me says go in and just go out and focus solely on buying, get some more good quality stock and then benefit from that. So I've got all these kind of like fighting thoughts in my head as it were. Um, but I do feel like I've got some stuff that I can do well with at the car boot. So I'm going to have to make a decision. Right now I'm just eating some crisps, having a drink, trying to chill out. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I also want to say a big thank you to everyone that turned up to the live chinwag stream on the Friday evening. Alf is just going bonkers at another dog barking. Um, we are hopefully going to do another live stream this coming Friday as well. So if you're into watching us live, I uh, really do appreciate it. And um, just be sh uh, be sure to like make sure the notifications bell is pressed, I guess, on the channel. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.